What's up everyone, it's Iceman Oz, aka Jay, straight from the kangaroo and your living room. Here today, I've got my review of the M1911. Okay, so first off, let's go over how to actually unlock the M1911 s tac In its particular assignment, all you need to do is have 20 pistol headshot kills, which is relatively easy, and after about an hour or two hours of playing, you should be able to get that uh, pretty quickly. Uh, so, yeah, once you get that out the way, you will be ready to use the m 19 1911s tac. Okay, now let's go over some of the stats of the M1911s tac. It has a maximum damage of 34 to a drop off of 14.3 at long range. Keep in mind that these are the stats of the original M1911. We don't actually have uh, full stats of the M1911s tac, but keep in mind that the drop off will be, you know, much more because you are using a suppressor. So be sure to keep that in mind. In terms of recoil stats, they're pretty much non existent with the M1911. It has a vertical recoil of 0.7 with a left and right pull of 0.1, which is pretty much nothing, especially because it is a semi-automatic pistol. Um, the, even with the original M1911, uh, there is literally no recoil, and especially with the uh, suppressor, um, you, you will never experience recoil with this weapon, but I did want to go over that because uh, if you're using like a 44 Magnum or, some, or something like that, of course you're going to deal with recoil. Uh, you won't deal with that with this particular pistol. And the other thing that I really like about the M1911 is its damage output. Okay, so I said it has a 34 maximum damage. Now, if you compare that to an MP443, a G17, weapons like that, they only have a 25 max damage. So that damage output is so much different, and there is such a uh, there is such a difference there. And uh, so be sure to keep that in mind also. And th the thing about it is, if you have a suppressor on this thing, it doesn't even matter, because for the most part, your gunfights are going to be at close range. So it doesn't even matter that people will be at long range so the suppressor is just absolutely awesome and the thing about it as well is if you have the tack light with it which which you obviously do is that when people turn on you you will still be able to kill them um, so okay so when you use the suppressor you want to be using flanking routes and you want to be taking out people from behind but in the unexpected situation you know someone might turn on you that's where the tack light comes in so with all these positives you must be thinking well this is the best pistol in the game well you know what it could be but but there is one thing that holds this gun back from probably being one of the best pistols in the game and that to me is the clip size. It has 9 in the clip and if you compare that to like a G17 or an MP443 they have like 16 or 18 so that is a massive difference. So be sure to keep that in mind also. It's one of them things you know if, if you are good at reloading and if you're good at taking cover that won't be an issue but if you like to have a lot of rounds in the clip this might not be the pistol for you. So in conclusion this is probably one of the best pistols in the game and to me the one detriment like I said is the clip size but if you can get into cover quickly if you can handle that this can be one of the most versatile weapons in BF3 and I don't just mean pistols uh, the reason I think it's one of the most versatile weapons overall in BF3 is the silencer and tack light no other weapon does that no other weapon does that so you know what it can be a very versatile weapon and it can be a real damager on the battlefield okay so we're coming to the end of this video so if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and peace.